Ready when you are. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of The Holy Post. Now, this is a very special episode, okay? Because we are just concluding our family fair, and we have some new friends. I mean, this is, this is very, very exciting. And so you, you've heard me talk about the Mercedarian Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament, and you've heard me ask you to pray for them. You've heard me ask you to pray for vocations for them. You've heard me to ask for, I, I've asked for a lot, okay? And I'm gonna continue to do that. But these are the actual Mercedarian Sisters, a few of them, and Deacon Bob. <laughs> He's not one of the Mercedarian sisters. Deacon Bob, wave to all your adoring fans. Give them a little wave. That, Hi, everybody. <laughs> Deacon Bob just happened to be walking through the family center, and so we snagged him for the Holy Post. And so we are gathered here, and I, Sister Josefina, why don't you just uh, tell us uh, your name and just a little bit about yourself, and I think it's kind of cool that your name is, well, it's after our parish, and so this is kind of cool, okay? So to tell them, Sister Josefina. So, as you've heard twice now, my name is Sister Josefina. <laughs> <laughs> my first name is April, then Marie, then Josefina. So, Josefina, I added when I took my first vows, it's in honor of St. Joseph, and it was actually given me by St. Joseph. So, I was not named after your parish, but I was named after who your parish was named after. <laughs> That's good, and we'll take that. We'll take that. It's a connection. It's a good... So, you've had a, a real connection with St. Joseph uh, throughout your life? Yes. I never realized I needed a dad until I met him. Mm. That's awesome. That is awesome. Well, welcome. It is so good to have you. Now, here's the interesting thing. Why are you wearing a black veil, but we have two white veils and a no veil? What do we <laughs> What do we do with that? I mean, Bob, you were wondering that too, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, how to what 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 should people make of this? What happens here? So, I'm wearing a black veil, and the black symbolizes actually death to self. Um, Christ died completely to himself, uh, not who he was, but to any kind of other life he might have lived here on this earth. Um, any kind of fame, self-seeking, any of that, Jesus never sought any of that. Um, so we as his spouses desire to die to our, our selfishness in that way. Um, he did that perfectly. He never possessed any selfishness, but he, he was tempted to it, just like all of us are. Um, but we choose to try to negate that, that part of us um, in order to become more and more one with our spouses. So um, that's, a, that's a symbol of, of dying to selfishness, really. Um, and our sisters can explain the, their level of formation. But I've professed first vows and second and third. So um, I'm a temporary <laughs> professed sister. Uh, God willing, next year I'd profess final vows. Awesome. Well, prayers for you, Sister Thank Josefina. You. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, Sister Grace, yes. Sister Grace was with me down at Catholic Youth Summer Camp. Um, she was not the one who was blobbed, uh, but Sister Grace witnessed. I did. Witnessed the How was witnessing that incident firsthand? <laughs> So I was actually on the far side of the lake. Um, the other three sisters, Sister Heart of Jesus, on the blob, and then my other two sisters were watching her from there. I was on the far side of the lake when just everything went quiet. And I turned to the side and looked, and I saw a nun flying through the air. <laughs> and I knew it was one of my sisters, and I took off running. I didn't know which one it was who was flying through the air. But, um, yes, it was definitely all eyes were, were turned towards her. But so. you probably weren't surprised that it was Sister Heart of Jesus, I'm glad she was safe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We are, too. We are, too. And we tried to convince Sister Grace to go on it, but... That didn't seem to... I wanted to go, but I was told no because I'm too small, so it was uh, thought to be too dangerous for me, but that's okay. <laughs> She's not bitter about it. I did. <laughs> no, actually, um, it turned out to be really beautiful because when I went home for my home visit, my brother invited me skydiving, so I didn't get to blob, but I did get to go skydiving. So. Oh. <laughs> so, you Father gotten, Eric... You might have gotten the better deal. You'll have to come skydiving sometime. <laughs> Deacon Bob, would you go skydiving with Good me? Luck. We could be together in that little harness thing. Yes, we could. I, I... <laughs> but we're not. <laughs> And I think all of you know, Deacon Bob and I go way back, before, way before I got here at uh, St. Joe's. He was with me at St. Jerome and Wallbridge. And uh, when I was named pastor here, I called Deacon Bob and I said, 
Looks like we're not getting away from each other yet. So anyway, I followed Deacon Bob over here. And Bob, how long have you been a deacon? 20 years, Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, uh, 2001. Wow. Yeah. And one of the saddest parts of being a brand new deacon is that I witnessed the second plane hit the tower mm -hmm. when oh. I was in New Jersey. And I, my granddaughter was going to a Catholic school, uh, Felician College. And I was having uh, breakfast with her on the river when that mm -hmm. second plane hit. Uh, that was sad. Sure. That was sad. But being ordained a deacon was wonderful. It's been 20 years. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. And Deacon Bob does great ministry here and, and visits so many uh, shut-ins and, and all that type of stuff. So we're grateful for Bob's uh, ministry because he does a great job. And uh, so Sister Grace, uh, give, give us a little sense. Or maybe Sister Chelsea, I don't know, like you're, you're in White Veil. Sister Chelsea just had a birthday yes. on Friday. How, <laughs> yes. how, how old are we allowed to ask a sister how sure. old she is? Yes, I turned 27 last Friday on the 17th. So I got to celebrate with um, a few of your parishioners, which was awesome, an unexpected birthday party. So that was fun. It was, yes. and the cake? And the cake. The cake. Yes. Let me tell you, these sisters can make cake. Yes. Who made the, that cake? These two Did lovely, Sister Grace lovely and Sarah? Yes. yes. Well, you are welcome here anytime. <laughs> but I did notice you didn't bring cake today. Huh. Sister Grace, what's going on with that? I'm sorry, Father. We were told that there would be desserts here, and there were lovely, beautiful, um, delicious desserts provided here. So thank you but for not, everyone. But not your cake, <laughs> which is lovely, delicious, and beautiful. Uh, it, it was thank wonderful, you, let me just tell you. So anyway, so you two are in White Veils. What's up with yes. that? Yes, so we, Sister Grace and Sister Catherine, who is not present here, we are first-year novices. Um, we just entered the novitiate this past August on the 22nd. Um, so please pray for us. We are um, in the process of formation, which is three years. So we have two more years um, left as we anticipate taking our first vows um, to be a temporary professed sister, like Sister Josefina. Um, so as we, as we continue to discern and to, to pray, um, we pray for you and all of our, all the intentions that we receive, but white as in like beginner. So um, we're anticipating like that death um, of Christ that we will receive at the, the vows. So yes. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And Sarah, <laughs> what's up with you? Where, first, where are you from, Sarah? I'm from Massachusetts, actually. Oh, Massachusetts. Yes. What drew you to the Mercedarians? Um, they appeared on my Facebook for a long time Social when media. I wasn't discerning yet. Um, and I really loved our charism, that true love of Mary and um, Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament. So. And yes. you are, uh, you're a postulant? Yes, I've been a postulant for four weeks now. <laughs> four <laughs> weeks, wow. Four yes. weeks, and how's she doing, Sister Josefina? She makes great cakes. <laughs> <laughs> so we just, so we just <laughs> went through, we just went through, oh, there's the cake. Look, Mother Isabella is showing you the cake. You should show our mother. This is our superior. Yeah, sh show yeah. Mother Isabel. Say hi to Mother Isabel. Hi, hi. nice hi. to meet you, everybody. <laughs> when we grow up, we look just like her. She's a fully professed sister. <laughs> <laughs> show them the ring, Madre. Show them the ring. <laughs> so that's when you're fully professed, you get the ring. Yes, you get the ring. Yes. And yes. You get the ring. You get wow. It's already that... there, you just can't see it yet. Oh, good, 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 good. Um, and so how's the first four weeks been? It's been wonderful. It's been a whirlwind learning all these new things, but I love being here with my sisters, so it's been wonderful. Awesome, yes. awesome, awesome. Yes. And Deacon Bob, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, what do you think of the idea of maybe having sisters here one day at St. Joe's? Well, I think it's a great idea. I don't, I'm 85 years old, Father, so you gotta get on the ball. And get the <laughs> if you want me to see sisters. <laughs> you know. yeah. Well, Deacon Bob, I think you're gonna be around for a little while. You're still pretty spry for 85. Well, you know? thank you, Father. I, I, I do humble up, wobble up the steps. <laughs> Our last pastor that we had used to say as we started up the process, all right, let's watch Bob while while up the step. <laughs> but I would never, I would never poke fun at you that way. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Bob's Father my favorite have, deacon to, to, to pick up. Yeah, Father and I have a, a nine-year togetherness, and we tease each other. He teases more than I do. Oh, I, I would never. I, I would uh, never. You can't. You would never believe that, would yeah. you? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll leave this, it there. Would this face lie? <laughs> Well, sisters, it is so good to have you here, and we loved having you for liturgy uh, here uh, for Mass. That was so awesome, uh, and your experience at the family fair and all that kind of stuff. So know that you're always welcome back here. And for all of you who are watching, I need you seriously to pray for vocations to the Mercedarian sisters. I need you to pray for more uh, vocations, more uh, young women who want to uh, check out their way of life, and you can find them on the internet, and it's just fantastic. Um, but they are doing a great job, and they have a joy that is so contagious. And so, sisters, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for your joy. We know it's rooted in Christ. Uh, we know that it's, uh, uh, it's nurtured every day in the Blessed Sacrament, and we're grateful for that. So... Well, I think we should all wave goodbye because you all have to get going because mother, you have to go do adoration <laughs> back in Cleveland. And so we have things to do, right, mother? Yes, absolutely. And so take care, everybody. Have a wonderful week. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless everybody. God bless you.